All right, uh, let me show you uh, some waveforms first and then I'll show you how I did it, okay? Uh, so this spectrum analyzer goes up to 1500 megahertz. And I would like to be able to listen to things like Bluetooth. Bluetooth is at 2.45 uh, gigahertz. So it's almost double what this, uh, what this uh, spectrum analyzer can see. Now, back in the day, uh, spectrum analyzers were difficult to make in high frequency. And so they gave you a trick. Uh, they gave you a connector that says first LO output. Now, most people don't know why there's a first LO output on the front of their spectrum analyzer. In fact, it's kind of an annoyance because when you're not using it, you have to put a 50 ohm load on it. Um, but why did they bring it out? Well, they bring it out so you can do this, all right? And so this is an external mixer. And so uh, we are going to use this external mixer to listen to Bluetooth signals. So that is Bluetooth. That, that is my, my, my phone right here is playing into the stereo. I don't have the volume up, um, but that is, the, that is the Bluetooth signal. So that's at 2.45 gigahertz. And uh, we can zoom in on it. Um, so the sweep of the spectrum analyzer is from the yellow line to the yellow line. So that's, that's the spectrum analyzer there. So we can, we can zoom in on it and you know, we can center it. Uh, we can make it a little faster. There we go. Um, so that's all the Bluetooth signals. Uh, it's very cool. So it's frequency hopping, um, spread spectrum. So it, it, it is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's going to be too noisy. So let me put up the video filter. Uh, the video filter is uh, basically averaging. Uh, that's this knob here. And there we go. That is all Bluetooth, Bluetooth signals. So how did I accomplish this? How was I able to get the spectrum analyzer to look at 2.4 gigahertz? Um, it's a really cool trick. Um, so the um, LO of this spectrum analyzer takes the incoming signals and mixes them up to 2 gigahertz. All right. So the LO sweeps between 2 gigahertz and 3.5 gigahertz. Okay, so that's, that's what's coming out of this connector, uh, 2 to 3.5 gigahertz, right? So I'm bringing that into this mixer. I'm bringing it into the uh, LO of this mixer. And so whatever comes in on the Santana is being mixed with 2 to 3.5 gigahertz, and it's being down-converted to uh, 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 an IF frequency. And that IF frequency, if it's between 0.1 and 1500 megahertz, then this uh, uh, spectrum analyzer can see it. So that's the way it's being accomplished. Um, we have the frequency tuned to about 200 megahertz. Now, I think there's a factor of two in there as well that you have to account for. It should be reading 400 megahertz uh, when that thing is centered. So I, I need to, I've never done this before. I've never seen anybody do this before. Um, and so I really don't understand the math of how you make this work um, or whether it's really possible or not. Um, I, I, assume it's, I assume it's possible. It, it's, it should be just mathematics. So, um, but do I really care the frequency? No, I already know the frequency. What I really care about is the modulation. Like, is it, is it working or not? Let's say, let's say you have a, a Bluetooth or transmitter. You just want to make sure that it's working. Well, here you go. You know, you can go take a look at it and see that it's, uh, that it's actually transmitting. Now, let me come over here to my uh, iPhone and I'm going to pause the, uh, pause the audio. Now there is some pre-buffering in, um, uh, Bluetooth, and then once it's all pre-buffered, boof, it goes away, and now there's no signal. Every once in a while, it says, "Hey, are you still there? Uh, are, are you still there? What, what's going on?" So now there's nothing there. So now let me uh, start up the start up the song. Oh, it uh, tried to do something. Okay, now I'm going to start up the song. One, two, three. Song's going, and boom, the uh, Bluetooth signal uh, shows up again. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I didn't have a, uh, a mixer that uh, had the right frequency range, um, so I ordered this one on eBay. I think I paid 10 bucks for it. It wasn't much. Um, 
but it's a uh, two to, I think it runs two to five and a half gigahertz and then can down, can down convert that. So uh, seems to be working good. And I'm using this little, little antenna and I'm, I'm next to my iPhone. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I thought you'd like that. <laughs>